Hey, Emma. Whoa, this is beautiful. Hey, you, come over here. Okay. Hi, I'm Fred. What are you doing here? IDK. Would you like to know where you are and learn about mathematics and nature? What dumb question is that? Yes, I do! Okay, tell me where I am and about mathematics and nature. Okay. One of the most popular ways to find mathematics in nature is the Fibonacci sequence, which is the main thing that we'll be talking about in this video. I'm in a video? I thought this was a lecture. I'm suing! I mean, lecture. But the Fibonacci sequence is the main thing that we'll be talking about. The numbers of Fibonacci are 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and more. Numbers can be in flowers. Doesn't matter which flower you look at, but most likely it has 3, 5, 8, 13, or 21 petals. Anyways, the Fibonacci sequence can not only be seen in flowers, but in so much more. If you cut a banana, it has three sections. If you cut open an apple, you can see it has five. Pine cones and rose seeds in some flowers always add up to Fibonacci numbers. There's a thing called the golden ratio. This is when you would divide any of the numbers by the one right before it, and you would get approximately 1.618. Another set of patterns is called the golden rectangle. Its side lengths are connected to Fibonacci numbers like 5 by 8. This rectangle can be divided into squares, which are also connected to Fibonacci. 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 8 by 8, and more. When you draw an arc from one corner to the next, it makes a spiral. This spiral resembles other spirals that we see in nature, like the spiral that are in some shells of snails. Okay, okay. That is very interesting. But I'm still suing. See? Here's my lawyer. Please don't sue me. I'm just the guy who gives lectures to people about mathematics and nature, and you're just the first person I wanted to post on YouTube. Please. Is there any way you won't sue me? I guess. The only way is if you can tell me how mathematics and nature can help me solve problems in robotics. Okay, I will do that. But let me just have a set change. Okay, let's get started. In nature, the Fibonacci sequence is big. They are the celebrities of the mathematics in nature world. But the Fibonacci sequence is not only in nature, it can be in art, architecture, and engineering. This is a robot, a great example of the Fibonacci sequence. And the problem that we will be using is the sizing requirements. Even though not everybody uses the Fibonacci sequence to resize their robot, you can use the Fibonacci sequence to show how big a robot is. It might can be easier to show how big or not how big a robot can be. With the Fibonacci sequence, like I had mentioned before, it has the golden rectangle. The side links are made to Fibonacci numbers. This robot is a perfect example of a golden rectangle. It is pretty much an 8 by 13 rectangle. Those numbers are made into Fibonacci numbers. Okay, so and if the robot is too big, we can use Fibonacci numbers to size it down or size it up. If it is too big or small for your liking or it doesn't go with regulations. Are you assuming you know? No, we all good. 